That's amazing. Wow. Look, there's the powder blues. Oh, man. The cobalts. Look at the Look clouds. At That's so cool. I can't believe it. Ooh-wee. This is legit. Oh, it sure beats having those the, all the different tanks everywhere. Oh, my goodness. It looks so clean, too. You guys had a variety of cages. We thought that we would make this look seamless. We've hidden all the lights in the back. There's no more cords running anywhere. This is really cool. There's like little pictures on the side, too. Everything is tied together with the Mayan theme. You see all the different little designs on there? We know that Dot and Sky were your first frogs, and that was where the passion really started. So we've got Dot, and we've got Sky. Wow. That's so cool. This build was so much fun for us. We even threw a few Easter eggs on this project. We've got a carving of Kevin. I mean, it looks like it should be in a zoo. <laughs> I do love it. It's amazing. All the frogs are bouncing everywhere. I've never seen them all be out at, like, once. Your frogs are already calling. It's crazy. Oh, I can hear them. It's cool. You hear that? I do yeah. hear one, yeah. Oh, my. As soon as we put them in, they've been all over exploring their new homes. It makes me feel so great to have such a tiny little family be so happy in their new little homes. Whoa. Wow. Thor's finally home. Wow. I did not expect yeah, that. No. <laughs> That's awesome. Totally shocked. Oh, look at Thor, he's right on top. <laughs> when I saw that look on Jordan's face, my heart just soared. She just looked immediately so impressed and happy, and that made me happy. You know what that is right there? What? That time, that's from your Calgary race. Your, oh, fast, really? your fastest time, 39, oh. 33.6. I love triathlon. Seeing the time on the cage is really cool because I'm encouraged to beat my time now. It totally fits in with the concrete. Yeah. You guys have a very modern, contemporary home, so we tried to mimic that as much as possible, but we want to tie in Jordan's love for triathlon, so we shaped this as a metal podium. That's it. Yeah. You see that? The podium. That's yeah. great. Yeah, I'm very happy that they incorporated my vision as well as my daughter's vision. It's, it's amazing that you can turn an art piece that has a sports theme like that, and you don't even know it. The Urmastics really love to hide in, in very tight spaces, so he'll be able to burrow down a little bit and hide underneath all the slate. The nice thing with the metal podium on the inside, there's actually built-in hides underneath, so he could hide in the back as well. Oh, perfect. So it, it totally suits his environment, and that's amazing. The lighting was key for us. You have very cool lighting in your kitchen, so we tried to match that as closely as possible. Oh, you guys are smart. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. We've picked a light bulb that has the UV output as well as the heat bulb, so we're able to get an all-in-one bulb for this build. It looks like it's a chandelier going into Thor's mansion there. That's gonna be the hottest spot. I mean, you can see he's flatten out he's there. Flat out. He's gonna take in that sun as much as possible. I think all my terrariums are a work of art, but in a totally different sense of what we've created on this build. It, it was amazing that he reacted the way he did. Are you going to even mention there's a lizard, or are you going to wait for them to notice? Well, you know what? That's, that's the cool part. I hope, I'm going to let them be and see, figure out what, what the heck is that, and then they go, whoa, whoa. Wow. Now you guys did amazing. Yeah. Holy. Whoa. Oh, my god. That is awesome. Wow. I like literally want to cry right now. <laughs> Go Holy check out your snakes. Crap. Wow. <laughs> this is like nothing I could have expected. That is so awesome. I didn't even know what to think at first. I, I literally would have never been able to think of anything like that in my life. I'm blown away. Look at the car! The car! Oh. Look at Bonnie, she's already like curled up. We tried to integrate everything you guys were looking for. Obviously, the key thing for you guys was the, the tie-in for all the, the gangster and prohibition. We were able to do that all in one while keeping all the snakes separated. The background is super cool. It's actually one image there, and that's uh, the background for uh, the Valentine's Day Massacre. Awesome. I, I'm lost for words. Like, I can't even get over this. You guys did amazing. Jeez. This is unreal. Look at Bonnie. She's so happy right now. Thank you so much, everybody. Honestly, like, this is, I could have never even dreamt of something like this. This is 
unreal. Like, I need to give you hugs. I don't know if you're huggers, but I'm a hugger. Oh, this is an absolute centerpiece. And when people walk in the room, their eyes are going to be drawn directly to this. And they're going to have to go check it out. It just looks so cool. I 100% think this is definitely going to help people get in and be more interested in the snakes. If it's any house we buy from now on, this is we're going to have to buy a house to work around the terrarium because it's just unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my goodness, and look wow. at that. We actually see the female up top. Oh, how did you guys make the skulls? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we wanted to look like we took a slice right out of the earth. We really wanted this theme to match with the area that we're in. It's such a hotbed for the dinosaurs back in the day. This is the backbone of Edmontosaurus. And this is a skull from an Albertosaurus. Both of these dinosaurs would have been roaming around in the Lethbridge area in the uh, Cretaceous period, so about 66 to 78 million years ago. They nailed the dinosaur theme. I, their words can't describe how perfect that tank is. I really love the way that you thought out which dinosaurs to include and that you chose based on the area. Like, that's just great planning. And the eggs are awesome, too, because we actually have a really good egg fossil bed site just south of Lethbridge here. That's cool, so that's perfect. What did you use for the substrate? I decided to go with a combination of place sand and some cocoa coir, so that if they do ingest any of it, it should pass through their body without causing any impaction. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So that's always a big concern with these guys. Yeah. Being that they like to dig as much as they do, that substrate is going to be fantastic for them uh, to regulate their temperatures and, and just be very healthy and, and active. Yeah, it was really important for the Eurymastics to have several different hides. I've used some slate rocks in the warmer part underneath the lights, so if they want to be on top or underneath, they get to choose. With this background, we made it so they'll thermoregulate horizontally, but they can also get a lot closer to that heat light as well by climbing the back wall. Uh, if you notice in there, the back wall is really cool. We kind of mimicked lava flow. You can see the lighting uh, popping out behind there. It's really nice, too, that you used a porous rock because it's a lot easier for them to get a good handle on when they're climbing. And that's real lava rock that we used in there. That is so cool.